Well, to your question before about um, if we advise that 40% of the total TV buy should go to CTV, I think that refers to Samsung Ads US. But uh, if we look into Europe, um, what we can clearly see is that definitely the share of the uh, audience in CTV is uh, far below the share of investment. Currently, in 2022, the streaming time, streaming share of time in, in TV is 52% across Europe. So already bigger than, than linear, but not, I mean, not only that. If we look at the percentage of people uh, that do not watch any um, linear TV at all, that counts for 25% in the UK. And on top of that, we have the people that just watch uh, less than five hours. That's around 45% in the UK, but in Spain, it's also a very high number, it's 41%. And that's the people that we consider unreachable from an advertising perspective in linear TV. So asking, answering to your question of 40%, it does sound like a reasonable number, although, I mean, we have not said it directly, but it does sound like a reasonable number. One of the trends we are seeing um, in Samsung TV households is that a streaming is uh, streaming growth is sustainable and it keeps growing. As we said uh, in the beginning, there's 52% of time spent watching streaming versus 48% watching linear. But uh, in the course of 2022, the number of streamers in Europe have, uh, has increased by 21%, which is quite an amazing number if we consider that we come already from a very solid base. And the other major trend that we can observe in Samsung, and this is very in line with the presentation that Toby uh, gave us uh, this morning, um, is that the, there is a change in viewing habits, and the, this is driving uh, audience from SBOT to ABOT. So if we look at the beginning of the year of 2022, uh, the in terms of um, VOD share of, of, uh, of audience, SBOT represented 59%, while um, ABOT represented 39%. Now, after a few months, uh, there has been a migration of five points from uh, um, SBOT to ABOT. This uh, suggests that there might be a strong migration from uh, SBOT to ABOT and that, that was basically what the Toby was telling us this morning and that might be related to the fact that the, the number of the families cannot afford to have uh, more than two or three services, subscription services. So once they discover the advantages of streaming, uh, then they choose maybe two or three and the rest of the time they consume in, in enabled. So in terms of share, um, ABOT is growing much faster than SBOT, but in terms of reach, already across Europe, both uh, VOD options uh, have very similar reach numbers, around 80% in, in the most uh, important countries. So ABOT is really um, showing us a very strong viewing trend this year. In terms of audience targeting that advertisers use in CTV, uh, I would differentiate entertainment clients Entertainment clients such as apps, broadcasters, um, theatrical, video game industry can really benefit from the very rich data we have in Samsung Ads about TV consumption. So most of their uh, campaign targeting is uh, related to our ACR technology that, that, that allows them to just um, serve the advertising to people that watch certain content or play to certain games. So that's um, the target uh, the targeting they, they use more. In terms of the rest of the categories, what is considered the traditional TV advertisers, such as uh, cars, retail, FMCG, one of the most popular targets uh, we sell in, in Samsung ads is the linear reach extension. This basically allows them to just reach people uh, that have not seen their ad in linear TV. So TV, linear TV, traditional TV is still a great media to build fast and high uh, levels of reach. But once you get to a certain percentage of reach, every extra point becomes uh, very hard to get and also very expensive. And this is where Samsung adds linear reach extension becomes very, very effective because it allows them just to build pure incremental reach from the linear base.